so in a previous video we talked about what fixative is and how to use it on your drawings but today we're going to address the difference between permanent fixative and workable fixative and I actually discovered some things that I'm a little bit surprised by in experimenting in preparation for this video so I'm going to show you what I discovered. I also want you to know that there are more videos like this on my website, LZM Studio. I have a paid course that's um, really actually quite affordable. And um, there are entire tracks of content that we've never talked about here on YouTube. So things like how to shade, um, uh, how volumes are displayed in a drawing so that you can make something look more three-dimensional. Um, lots of extra additional stuff. There's like a whole track on something called spatial thinking that I don't really address that much here on YouTube because they're really long videos so it takes a lot to produce them. So those are on my website LZM Studio. You can also find um, a course that is just for students in school on my other website Graphite Squad. So if you know of a school that is having problems funding their art program, that is the site for that school. I would love to work with your kids in whatever school they're in, no matter where they are in the country or around the world. So let's take a look down and I'm gonna show you the difference between these two fixatives. Okay, so these are the two fixatives that I use. Now this Krylon brand workable fixative is the brand that I typically use. And I typically use workable fixative because the idea is, is that you can erase and then continue um, drawing even after you've sprayed the fixative. Now, I typically only spray it at the end because I want to be able to adjust things in my drawing as I'm working. But I like the idea that it is workable. It's not permanent. If I wanted to go in and change something, then I could. So I also wanted to try this um, Delacroix Sennelier uh, brand, the fixative that is made for pencils and charcoal. Um, I had heard a lot about this brand and so I was interested in experimenting with it. So I just bought this very recently. Now this workable fixative, the Krylon brand, I know that I've had this bottle for I think at least two years. Um, you can tell it's still got liquid in there. I don't use it regularly. I really only use it when I'm, um, you know, finished with an artwork that I really care about um, <coughs> or that I'm selling or something that's commissioned. I don't use it daily on like sketches like this because it's really toxic to smell and I just don't want to, you know, pollute the environment any more than I need to. Um, so a bottle like this, while it's like maybe $15, it lasts me for years and years and years. But what I found to be interesting are the results between the two. So let's take a look. What I did was, and I'm gonna kind of move these out of the way so you can see. This is my workable fixative. Um, I sprayed it on the lip study that I was doing. Let me grab an eraser here, there we are. Um, and then what I did was I used a soft pencil, I think it was a 3B, um, to do some shading. I sprayed the fixative, usually, like you can look at my other video on how to spray the fixative. I usually do at least two coats, one direction, and then another direction, letting those layers dry in between. Um, then what I did was I tried to smear this with my finger. So you can see it actually takes quite a bit of pressure to get any smear, whereas like if I were spraying or if I were um, smearing something that hadn't been sprayed, it should smear quite a bit more, more, free, more easily. And now that I'm <laughs> smearing that, I actually can't remember. I might have sprayed the entire page, so this whole thing might be um, sprayed with fixative. So then what I did was I took my kneaded eraser and I tried to do a couple of press and lifts to see if anything would come up and you can actually see nothing is coming up. So even though this is the workable fixative, I am not seeing it be very workable in terms of um, just taking a little bit of value away with the kneaded eraser. I then tried to scrub with the kneaded eraser and you can see that it gets a little bit lighter there's a little bit of um, graphite that's coming off here, but not a significant amount because it's been fixed. And then I took my regular eraser here and tried to erase 
with that and you can see it does get a little bit lighter so some is coming off but it is not really um, coming off like it would if there were no fixative on it and this is the surprising result now I don't know if you can see both let's see if I can put it like this so this is the Sennelier Delacroix fixative and this is supposed to be permanent fixative and so what I did with this one was that I tried to smear it and you can see this one smears a little bit more. Now it might just be that there's more contrast. This was a little bit lighter um, of a pressure with the pencil. So you can see there's less contrast between the smear and the part that's not smeared and more contrast between the part that's not smeared and the smear there. So it kind of looks like it could be getting darker, but I'm not sure that it's actually smearing anymore. Um, then I pressed and lifted with my kneaded eraser and you can see it actually does pick up a little bit. Let me knead that up again so that it's totally fresh and I'll try it in a different spot and see. So here we go. There's nothing on there, no graphite on there. Let's see if it takes some off and it does. So this is the workable. It took nothing off. This is the permanent. It took something off. So the only thing that I can determine is maybe the different brands have different ingredients or the fact that my Krylon works, workable fixative is several years old. It might be acting more permanent because maybe there's been some air that's gotten in the um, canister from, you know, using parts of it. And so there could be some exposure and maybe the, um, the chemical makeup of it is changing. So then I used my regular eraser on here and you can see that that erases fairly well. I mean, it's not going to go back to ground zero where you're completely on the white page, but it's actually going to erase some. So that was kind of surprising to see that I think that the workable fixative actually protects the page just a little bit more than the regular fixative. And again, it could be that brand. So now another way that people try to use fixative in their artwork is when they're using vine charcoal. So vine charcoal is like, you know, it's really loose and dusty. And so what happens is as you're drawing with it, it's going to create dust, which can create some problems in your drawing, right? If you don't want it to be there. The other thing <laughs> is that in order to build up layers to get it darker, Sometimes you have to use a fixative in order to get a really dark dark with something like a vine charcoal. So here you can see this is vine charcoal. I've got one, two, and three layers on this section. And I did not use any fixative in between the layers. So this value here, number three, is actually darker than the ones where I use the workable and the permanent fixative. But let's take a look at these two next to each other. And again, I think this workable fixative, so I did the light layer, smeared it with my finger, sprayed it in between. Then I did a second layer, smeared it with my finger, sprayed it with the fixative in between. Then I did the third layer. And you can actually see that on the workable fixative, that third layer gets darker than on the permanent fixative. So again, I don't know if that's the age. Maybe I could do this test again, buying both brands brand new and having a fresh start and see if there's any difference. Or it could just be the different um, components of the chemical makeup of the two brands actually work differently. Um, so I thought that was really interesting, but if you want to get a dark dark, I would go with this Krylon workable fixative in order to get the darkest dark with your charcoal. So I uh, hope that really is informative to you. It was kind of a surprise bit of information for me. Um, I haven't really changed brands of fixative in quite some time. I typically use that Krylon brand. And so I'll be interested to see how the, um, the other brand, the Delacroix works, since that is particularly for um, graphite and charcoal. And what I'm going to do is spray them on drawings that I care about see how they age, see if anything changes over time. And, um, and that way I'll have more information about which brand I would want to buy again in the future. 
So I hope that's interesting information for you guys. And um, if you want more lessons, you can go to my website, lcmstudio.com. Thanks so much.